I'm making this quick video regarding ultra pasteurized milk when making kefir. In my original how to make milk kefir video, I said this about ultra pasteurized milk. The difference in this pasteurization temperature is the game changer because the heat levels used for ultra pasteurized milk degrade the lactose molecular structure. Kefir grains have a hard time feeding on degraded lactose. However, several people have written in that they actively use ultra pasteurized milk without any problems. So although the ultra high temps of the ultra pasteurized milk can degrade the lactose based on these scientific studies, clearly for many people out there, the degraded lactose is not negatively affecting their kefir grains, meaning their kefir grains are not starving from the lack of ability to feed on the lactose due to the degradation of it during the high heat processing. Hence, their kefir grains are getting what they need and making perfectly good kefir. Therefore, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. If ultra pasteurized milk is the only type of milk you have available to you, go ahead and use it. However, if you are experiencing problems with the milk effectively fermenting into kefir, you can add to the troubleshooting list, try switching milks. But from the many voices out there, it should be fine. And just an added note for extra clarity, when I said not to use ultra pasteurized milk in the original video, that was only because the lactose degradation would be challenging for the bacteria of the kefir grains to consume. It was no way implying that the ultra pasteurized milk is poison to the grains. A handful of you wrote in saying that you threw your grains out or thought that the ultra pasteurized milk ruined them. No, ultra pasteurized milk is not poison, only lactose challenged. So your grains are not ruined if you use that type of milk and definitely don't throw your grains out. You're welcome to simply switch milks and all will be fine or you can continue trying to use the ultra pasteurized milk and see if your milk successfully ferments into kefir like the other voices out there are saying that it will. You can do a little experimenting and not kill your grains. It's gonna be okay. Thanks for allowing me to clear some things up on this topic and I wish you happy kefir making. Bye for now.